Super Final Wars <clears throat> and Godzilla continue to look around for a little bit. They looked everywhere around God's Dagon's old battlefield. It wasn't until they found a certain clue. It was the skeleton of a Mudo. But why was it here? Godzilla and Super Final took a closer look at it. They realized that this was no ordinary Mudo. This Mudo was five times bigger than, than an average size Mudo. Then Super Farmers realized <clears throat> that this is no ordinary Mudo. This is it remains a Mudo Prime, the godfather of the Mudos. <clears throat> Godzilla and Sir Flowers Wars looked around through the battlefield. They saw that Dagon was joined by several other guardian monsters. And they were joining Dagon in this battle. But they were confused on why they were joining him. Then they end up realizing that Mudo Prime declared war on Dagon. Not because Dagon killed one of Mudo Prime's offspring. No. Dagon and his family was in war with this species. <clears throat> the battle was intense. <clears throat> so intense, in fact, that it surprised so Final Wars and Godzilla. But most of Dagon's friends and family were slaughtered by the Mudos. Only Dagon was the only one left standing. Dagon battled Mudo Prime. And in the end, Dagon killed Mudo Prime. Well, at least he thought he did. <clears throat> the two then continued to look around for any trail that Dagon took before his death happened. Luckily, they were managed to find a trail. The two were surprised that the trail was even surprisingly a little bit fresh. <clears throat> With them, it is like years old. 
The last time Godzilla really saw Dagon was 1980. It's 1984. And they're surprised that all, after all these years, this trail remains fresh. As if Dagon was just recently here. They decided to take a look around. Then they ended up following the trail to Dagon's new territory. <clears throat> and eventually, it was here that they learned what happened. Apparently, there wasn't just one Mudo Prime. There was a second one, and the second one killed old Dagon. And, and because of this, Godzilla now knows why Dagon has been seen for a long time. Why Dagon died. She thought it was by the hands of Queen Ghidorah, but Queen Ghidorah never arrived here. She never met Dagon. Heck, she doesn't even know about the Hollow Earth. That's the one thing she doesn't know. The fact that the Hollow Earth even exists. So followers and Godzilla were end up shocked because they realized Moto Prime didn't kill, didn't just kill Dagon. He implanted eggs inside of him, which means only one thing: Moto Prime is still alive. And the Godzillas have the have the radiation, the power or or is that the Mudos basically need to feed off of. If there was only one kaiju that actually may praise upon the Godzillas, and that's the Mudos. So Farmer's in the kneeling down right next to Dagon's skeleton and sees that the eggs they're they're cracked. They're there's no babies around. He realized that the babies have just left. So that's what happened to Dagon. Huh. Do you need some time alone? Yeah, I would like it if I had some time alone. Even though he was a bad husband, a bad king, and a bad father, I still loved him. I still love him. I don't think that will never change. So Farmers understood. He realized that God's almost had the road of crying until he brought her close to him, giving her a tight hug. She hugged him back. She was lucky to ran into some final wars. So Flowers has basically proven himself to be a good king, a good husband, and a better father than Dagon was. 
she is very glad that she ran into him. Because this, this guy is clearly her man. So fireworks and Godzilla remained hugging for a while. It wasn't until Godzilla looked up at him. And the two kissed for a while. Then they broke up the kiss. I love you. I love you too, Godzilla. Come on. Let's go find those Mudos and take care of them. I bet you you want to revenge Dagon. Surprisingly enough, she actually did want to avenge him. She couldn't believe it herself, but she still wants to avenge Dagon. So, the two left the Hollow Earth. And went back to the surface. They decided to track down and the Mudos. They know that the that there was another Mudo, but that one wor worships if Super Final Wars and Godzilla is her king and queen. That Mudo is basically the queen Mudo. Their followers and Godzilla decided to check Japan first. It wasn't until they found a certain area within Japan that was completely abandoned. No humans, no nothing. The whole area was just covered with vines and with wild animals, other pets and other animals that were completely roaming around like they owned the place. They found one of Monarchs' posts and they found what looks like the remains. Of a Mudo cocoon. And clearly, so far as I can tell from the scent, it was definitely a male. Then they decided I had to go check Hawaii. When they arrived, they saw that the little old guy was just sitting there, roaming around like he owned the place. Well, it was about time that Final Wars and Godzilla end up showing him who is the king and queen of the monsters. Showing him that he needs respect and listen to his alphas. Because if not, then there's going to be a problem.